it is also possible to sort the columns so most people use sort to sort rows but we can actually use it to sort the columns so for example here we've got these three columns and let's say for whatever reason we need it to be in alphabetical order so we want product to be first then sales then salesperson so that way we can do it pretty much the same we highlight the data we go to data we click sort so most of it's the same we've specified we've got my data's got headers but this will disappear so shortly you'll see I'm just going to click on options and you'll see the orientation is sort top to bottom we want to go left to right when I say OK you'll notice it now talks about what row it should sort by so I'm going to say it must sort by row 2 which is this one here and then we can say sort on values and should we go A to Z so when I say OK you'll see it now takes the entire columns and sorts them let's just undo that where this can be very handy, because it's highly unlikely you're going to worry about the, the alphabet here, is you may have a set output. So we get it like this, and for whatever reason, we know that product must be first. So I'm just going to put a 1 there, and then I know sales must be second, and salesperson must be third. So in this case, we can just put some index numbers at the top. And once we've set that up, and these can be lookups or anything like that, we can just follow the same process, highlight the data, click on data, sort. You'll see because of what we've just done, it's already sitting as left to right. So we'll accept that. This time we're going to say sort by row 1. And perhaps we can go smallest to largest or largest to smallest. When I say OK, you'll see it sorts it now based on an index we create up here. So this is a nice easy way to get your columns in the correct order without you manually having to go and move columns around.